was feeling a little crafty, so I made these little birds a while back and decided to convert them into earrings. Now these are what we call perla beads. And I love working on perla beads. When I was a little girl, we used to have a little square circle, um, oxagon, and a heart. And then you would put the beads on it and you just fuse them, iron infuse them. And so now it's gone to where you can do all kinds of things with perla beads. And so these are my little earrings and they're so beautiful. How's everybody doing? Um, pretty sedentary day. Um, the raccoon people came out and they patched up the little hole where that humongous raccoon got into my attic and they cleaned out the attic and all that kind of stuff. And then they said it would cost me about $1,900 for me to get um, insulation in. I waited out. I'm good. Or I could see if my insurance will pay for it. One of the two, I'm good. So I didn't do much today. I think I did go to the store. I got to stop running to the store. I think I ran twice. And so that's one of the things I'm trying to work on, the compulsiveness of just running to the store. And if I go to the store, stick with what I'm going to get and not throw something in. So I experimented today. I went to the little shop at, the little Walmart shop at, and I had to get a vent for my um, heater. And then I had to get, I was trying to get some glue, uh, some wood glue for a chair I wanted to put back together. So I go into Walmart. I don't look at anything. I go straight to the back. I go straight to where I'm going to, and I got the little vent thing that you put in your heater. And so I got that. Cool. Doing good. Compare some prices, switched out, and got the little cheaper one or whatever, but they're supposed to last three months, but you know what? You're supposed to change them anyway a month or two. So anyway, I got that. So then I went on to get the glue. And then I kind of looked at the glue, and I said to myself, um... Uh, you got glue at home and it'll probably work. Just leave that alone. Plus, I didn't have the wood glue that I was looking for anyway. But prior to that, I skipped that part. Um, I went and bought a 97, I got a 97 cent little spray bottle, which is not on the list. And so I said, eh, it's 97 cents. And then you didn't buy the $3 and some cent glue. You should be good. So that's my self-talk for today, but I think fail, epic fail, because I didn't stick to the list. So that's something I got to work on is sticking to the list. Okay. So then I had to go get a blazer. So I always go to the little secondhand store if I want to get something real quick. So I wanted a blazer. So I went in there and I um, kind of detoured toward the toy section and I saw all these little African-American Barbies and I just had to have everyone that was there. I think there was like two, four, six, eight, and uh, maybe seven, but it came up to twenty something dollars for what I ever all I purchased. So epic fail there too, because I was only supposed to be getting the little um, blazer because I got rid of all my blazers. I didn't have a blazer. Epic fail. So I have to try again tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm thinking about keeping my behind home and not going anywhere. But that doesn't mean anything for me because guess what I have? Access to the internet. And sometimes I shop on the internet just impulsively. So I'm working on my spending, uh, compulsiveness with spending. That's my new year thing, is to cut down on spending and stop compulsively buying stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm going I'm to try to do my best. Because this is real serious. I got to do it. So, if you're having those issues, comment below. Like, subscribe to my videos. Let's chat. Because I know a lot of us have that. I know some of you women out there who hide your shopping bags in your trunk to your significant other is out of sight. And you can sneak those things in. And then they just sit in your closet for years and you don't wear none of it. Like me, I'm a crafter. So I'll buy all this crafting materials and stuff. And those, the Barbies I buy are for part of my crafting. And I'll just, it'll just sit there and I don't really do anything with it. I was fascinated at first, but then I don't want to get rid of it either. So I have this huge bin uh, and it's full of Barbies and it's just got a lid on it. But I got some creativity things going through my head to use with it. And one day, I'm just going to say, oh, that's what I want to do, and that's what I'm going to do. 
Like I do change the hair color, dress them up, and then give them away. So we shall see. Y'all, pray for me as I try to stop spending stuff on trivia, little no matter things. Because I don't make big purchases. I make real small little stuff pur purchases that can really add up. And I've stopped the fast food um, shopping. I don't go out and buy food. I got food at home. Okay? So I don't do that. I, um, I try to avoid it all together. So you all have a really good evening. And, y'all, the struggle is real. Bye.